Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean an offset smoker after you've cooked on it. All right, I like to start in the firebox, so we'll open this lid up and I'll get started by just cleaning out our charcoal basket. So any leftover charcoal, I'll just pour into our firebox and then I'll just give it a quick brush out with our broom. Then we'll put our charcoal basket aside and brush off our charcoal grate. Now we can put that aside. Then I'll brush off any ash from the inside of our lid. Then any ash in the higher parts of our firebox, I'll brush down to the bottom. Then I'll lay a bucket down just next to the firebox side door. Then we can open our side door up and brush any ash and charcoal into our bucket. And now that's nice and clean, we can put our charcoal grate back in and our charcoal basket. And now we can move on to the cooking chamber. So as you can see, we've got a bit of a build up on our cooking grate. So what I'll do is I'll get a wire brush and give that a once over. Then I'll flip them over and do the same on the underside and take that diffuser plate out now as well. All right, now I'll take these out all together. Then we'll take our drip tray out. Now, if you wanna make the cleaning process a bit easier, make sure you're using drip trays when you're cooking as they'll catch a lot of the drippings and prevent a lot of the mess and build up on the bottom of your cooking chamber. And there's a little bit of build up on our bottom rack here. So I'll just give that a once over with our wire brush as well. Then we can take that out. And then any leftover seasoning or bits of ash in our cooking chamber, I'm just gonna brush down here into our drain hole there and that's gonna fall into the bucket I've got down there. All right, now that's done, we can get our grates back in. Now our internals are nice and clean, I'm just gonna give it a nice generous spray with some canola oil. I'll do the same to the inside of the lid. Now we can close our lid. And we'll do the same to the firebox. And we'll shut that lid. We'll give the inside of the side door a bit of a brush. We'll give that a quick spray with oil. Then we'll shut that. And we'll brush off any dust and ash from the outside. And then any spots that are starting to rust, I'll give them a spray with oil as well, just to prevent that from spreading any further. So for a quick clean after I've used my offset smoker, that is about as far as I will go. If you can get in the habit of just taking them five minutes to quickly do what we've just done, you're not gonna have to deep clean your smoker as much and it'll be much less messy when you do get around to deep cleaning your smoker as well. And like I touched on earlier, if you're using things like drip trays or foil to catch any mess and drippings, this process is gonna take a lot less time as well because it'll be just as easy as removing that foil or drip tray, putting that in the bin as opposed to scraping off all of that rendered fat and drippings or seasoning that's fallen off inside your cooking chamber and got all over your cooking grates. So make sure you're preventing your smoker from getting dirty in the first place if you can. But for now, that's honestly all I'll do for a quick cleanup. So that's the end of the video. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.